I rebuilt the same AI agent in all five major agent frameworks. True AI, AutoGen, OpenAI Agents SDK, Google Agent Development Kit, and Langgraph. And today I want to share with you my experience with each one, which features blew my mind, and most importantly, which one you should actually be using for your use case. In my last video, I gave you an update in my AI stock picker agent that is up more than 17%. And I mentioned that I had rebuilt the whole thing using different frameworks. Same agent logic, same prompt, same tools, just different frameworks to understand the trade-offs and get to know each framework's strengths and weaknesses. And I know you're probably thinking, why? Why would you do that? Why not just take one framework, the most popular one, and learn it deeply? In any other area of development, I would agree with you. Because the race has sort of ended and we have settled in one framework. Java has Spring, Python has Django, JavaScript has React, Ruby has Rails, etc. In the case of AI frameworks, we are literally watching the race as it happens. By download count, some people would say that Langgraph is the most popular framework. And I've seen books and courses focusing only on Langgraph. But if Langgraph was so great, why would Google introduce their own framework, Google ADK, literally less than six months ago? Or why would OpenAI release their own framework as well? I'm not saying that Langgraph is bad. I actually really like it. What I'm saying is that the industry is so, so new and everybody is still figuring out what works that it seems kind of silly to me to just bet in one framework. And that is why in the AI Agents Masterclass course, we focus on all five frameworks. We don't go neck deep into any one framework because tomorrow Anthropic could release something that changes everything, but we go belly button deep in all five. Deep enough to build real agents that actually work, shallow enough that you are not married into one solution and keep your options open in case something new comes out. Okay, so let me walk you through each framework. Let's start with Crew AI, what I call the getaway drug of agent frameworks. This is the framework that got everyone excited about agents in the first place. And honestly, it is brilliant at what it does. With Crew AI, you create crews, which are groups of agents that work together to achieve a goal. You assign them tasks and give them tools. It's pretty straightforward, easy to learn, with very few concepts to understand and remember. The best thing about Crew AI is that things just work. Building agents with Crew AI doesn't even feel like coding. Crew AI gives you all the Lego pieces pre-made. Agents, tools, tasks, everything. And you just snap them together however you want. You can have a decent team of agents doing actual work in less than 20 minutes. And most of the time, rather than writing code, you're just writing prompts. But here's the catch, and this is important. Crew AI works great as long as the agent you want to build fits its mold. The moment you try to do something creative, creative or different, you will either have to compromise on your idea or will spend hours fighting the framework. And because everything just works, the framework is doing so much magic behind the scenes that you really don't understand what's happening. Which means that when you need to customize something specific, you can't. Crew AI is perfect for proofs of concept and impressive demos. It can get you pretty far. The first version of the stock picker agent was built with Crew AI and it worked great. As a matter of fact, I think every agent you want to build, you can first prototype with Crew AI and when you need to customize customize it or deploy it to a server, add authentication, login, etc. That is when you can move to a framework that allows for more customization. In the AI Agents Masterclass course, we build a newsreader and summarizer agent, a job hunter agent that takes your resume and searches for jobs that match your skills and helps you apply for them, and a social media content writer agent, all with Crew AI. Now, Let's talk about Autogen, Microsoft's framework. Autogen has a really interesting approach. It treats agents like participants in a group chat. You create agents, add them to a chat group, give them a task, and then watch them coordinate and delegate work by literally talking to each other. It's pretty cool. What is unique about Autogen is that it's the only framework in this list that supports .NET alongside Python. So if you are a C-sharp developer working in a Microsoft shop, this is basically your only option. They've also built it in three layers, which I actually really like. You start with Autogen Studio, a web UI where you can prototype without writing any code. Then you can move on to agent chat when you need to implement your prototype with Python code. And if you need full control, you drop down to core, which gives you the raw message passing wrong time to build whatever you want. But here's the thing. Autogen was released in 2023, which in AI years is basically ancient history. It was the first mover and got huge early on, but now it feels dated. And Autogen Studio, while a great idea, it is still pretty buggy. The group chat architecture is cool for demos, but it becomes a limited 
limitation. You are forced into this one way of building agents where other frameworks let you implement the same pattern plus 10 others. And if you really want to customize your agents, you will have to move on to core. And just as a personal opinion, the core API seems a bit odd and unnecessarily complex compared to other frameworks. It's like they build the perfect solution for 2023's problems, but we are solving different problems now. Would I use Origin today? If I was in a .NET environment, absolutely. In Python, probably not. We spend the least time on Origin in the AI Agents Masterclass course. We build a tiny Grok deep research clone with it, and in maybe 20 minutes, you get to understand the whole framework, how it works, and then we move on. Now, OpenAI Agents SDK. OpenAI started with a experimental framework called Swarm, which was basically their research team playing around with multi-agent orchestration. Then they took everything they learned and built the Agents SDK, the production-ready version that replaced Swarm entirely. The architecture is straightforward. You create a main agent that orchestrates sub-agents, and those sub-agents can have their own sub-agents. An agent can use tools or transfer control to another agent. It's hierarchical and clean. What I really appreciate about this framework is that it comes with all the production features built in. Guardrails, memory management, login, observability, all the stuff you actually need to deploy your agents to real users is built in. You are not scrambling to add those features later. The API is minimalistic, and elegant. Small surface area, easy to learn, but surprisingly powerful. And if you are using OpenAI models, the integration is perfect. The framework has something called hosted tools that come built into the framework and run in OpenAI's servers. Like for example, to allow your agent to search the web is literally one line of code, where in any other framework, you'll have to implement it on your own. Image generation, file search, code execution, and more. They are all built in and ready to use. It also comes with tracing and monitoring features built in. So you can see how your agents are performing and what they are doing in your OpenAI dashboard. The supportable Python and TypeScript, which covers most use cases. The downside? Well, you technically can't use it with Claude or Gemini. The support is still in beta, and the framework is clearly optimized for OpenAI models. Also, the awesome hosted tools are only available if you use OpenAI models. Another downside is that you are locked in into that hierarchical agent sub agent architecture. It works well for most cases, but if you need something different, you will have to look elsewhere. Now, would I use it? If I am building with OpenAI models, I want deep integration with OpenAI's infrastructure and need production ready features out of the box? Absolutely. Especially for anything with voice. OpenAI's voice models are still the best. And this framework makes real time voice agents actually work. In the course, we we spent serious time in OpenAI Agents SDK. We first spent time in learning the concepts and how it works. Then we built a ChatGPT clone with custom UI, all the tools enabled, MCP servers integrated, basically an overpowered ChatGPT. And then we built a voice-powered customer support agent with guardrails, monitoring, contextual awareness, agent transfers, login, and more. Now, Google ADK, the newest kid on the block, released in April 2025. Honestly, it feels like Google engineers went shopping. They looked at every other framework, picked the best features from each one and built ADK. Like with their AI models, Google arrived late, but arrived prepared. Google is already using ADK in their own products, like Agent Space and their customer engagement suite. So you know it's battle tested. It follows the same hierarchical architecture as OpenAI Agents SDK. Main agent orchestrating sub-agents, but it adds a ton of extras. The killer features? First is the only framework with a built-in web UI. You can chat with your agents, watch their tool use in real time, see conversation history, debug step by step, all without writing any UI code. For prototyping, this is incredible. Second, and this is huge, it is the only framework with built-in evaluation and testing. You can systematically test your agent against predefined test cases. You can measure response quality, track execution paths. No other framework has this built-in. They also ship with a CLI that turns your agent into a REST API instantly. No setup, no configuration. Just run the command and boom, you have an API endpoint. It's big, but it's a good big. Google knows what they're doing. I call it batteries included because everything you need is there. Production features. It also has hosted tools like Google Search and code execution. Compatibility with Crew AI tools. They thought of everything. A thing I really like is a feature called Workflow 
agents. They are parallel agents, sequential agents, and loop agents. You can combine these agents and build really sophisticated workflows. The framework is model agnostic and works well with non-Google models. So obviously it shines with Gemini. They support Python and Java. And if you are in the Google Cloud ecosystem, it has over a hundred pre-built connectors to things like Salesforce, SAP, Workday, and more. And here's something no other framework has, seamless deployment. Google has this thing called Agent Engine in Vertex AI, which is a fully managed service for deploying agents. You literally just push your ADK agent there and it's deployed. The downsides? First, it's Google. So there's always the fear they will kill it next year. So since they are using it in their own products, probably not. Second, the API is big. ADK is a big, bulky framework, the opposite of minimalistic. There's a lot to learn and you have to deal with Google Cloud to get API keys, enable services. So yeah, you're also locked in into the main agent, sub agent architecture, which may not be what you want. Would I use it? If my company had data in Google Cloud or if I was using Gemini models, absolutely. If I wanted to use Vio, Nano Banana, Gemini or any Google model, ADK is the obvious choice. The developer experience is fantastic, but for small agents, it may be overkill. In the course, we go big on ADK. We build an investment analysis system with multiple specialized agents, analyzing market data, news, financials, writing reports, saving files, and more. We also build a YouTube short generator that creates entire videos, script, images, voiceover, everything automatically. And we also learn how to deploy an agent to agent engine. Finally, Landgraph. I'm going to be honest, this is my favorite. Landgraph takes a completely different approach. Instead of being a framework to build agents, it's a framework to build graphs. Stay with me here. When you look at agent architectures, how are they always represented? As graphs, boxes connected by lines, nodes, and edges. Each box does something, and the lines show how they connect. So Langraph's idea is simple. If agents are best understood as graphs, why shouldn't the code be the same? Langraph is already in production at companies like JP Morgan, Uber, LinkedIn, Repolit, and more. And these aren't toy projects. These are serious systems handling real work. And here's what makes Langraph special. It gives you almost nothing. I'm serious. While other frameworks are handling you pre-built Lego pieces, Langraph hands you clay. It's just a runtime for creating nodes and edges. What those nodes do, how they connect, what happens and when, that's all on you. The API is tiny. You can learn the whole thing in an afternoon. But with that a tiny API, you can build literally any agent architecture. The group chat from Autogen, you can build it. The hierarchical structure from OpenAI Agents SDK, you can build it. Some crazy custom architecture that nobody has thought of, you can build that too. If other frameworks are like driving automatic, Langraph is like having manual transmission, but also being able to rebuild the engine while driving. It does have some features, a checkpoint system that lets you save and restore agent state, and even time travel through conversations. And it's truly model agnostic. It works with any model, any tool from any provider. The downside, you are building from scratch and there's a learning curve. You have to think in graphs and not in objects. And other frameworks will definitely get you started faster. But here's why I love it. Langraph doesn't restrict you. It helps you express your ideas. Now that I rebuild my stock picker agent with Langraph, I have complete control over everything. I can see exactly what's happening, when, and why. Would I recommend starting with Langraph? Honestly, no. Start with Crew AI, OpenAI Agents SDK, or Google ADK. Get comfortable with agents and then come to Langraph where you need more control. In the AI Agents Masterclass course, we spend the most time in Langraph. We build a YouTube thumbnail generator that takes a video, extracts the audio, gets a script, generates multiple thumbnail concepts, and lets users pick and refine them. We also build an AI tutor system with specialized agents for quizzing, teaching, and explaining concepts using the fine man technique. We implement every major agent architecture pattern. We deploy to production, learn about human in the loop, and even get into agent-to-agent -agent communication protocol. It's intense, but by the end, you can build anything. So, which framework should you actually use? Here's my honest advice. If you want to prototype something quickly with zero friction, use Crew AI. You will have agents running in 20 minutes. Perfect for demos, hackathons, or just testing if your idea even works. If you're a .NET developer, stop watching and use Origin. It's your only real option and it works fine. If you're all in on OpenAI, using their models, their voice features, their infrastructure, use OpenAI Agents SDK. The integration is perfect and those hosted tools will save you weeks of work. If you are in the Google Cloud ecosystem, them or using Gemini models, use Google ADK. That built-in UI and testing framework is chef's kiss and deploying to agent engine is stupidly easy. If you need complete control, custom architectures, or if you are building something truly unique, 
Use Langraph. Yes, it's more work up front, but you will never hit a wall where the framework can't do what you need. And here's the real truth. You should probably learn at least three of these. Start with Crew AI to understand agents, move to OpenAI Agents SDK or Google SDK to build something real, and then graduate to Langraph when you need the ultimate flexibility. That's exactly what we do in the AI Agents Masterclass course. We start easy, build complexity, and by the end, you are framework agnostic, able to pick the right tool for the job. Because in this field, being married to one framework is the silliest thing you can do. All right, that's it for today's video. Let me know in the comments which framework you are the most excited to try. Or if you're already using one, share your experience. If you want to master all of these frameworks, check out the AI Agents Masterclass course. We'll learn them all and build over 10 real agents that can do real work. And if you buy the course before the pre-sale ends, you will also get a free bonus course where you will learn how to build no-code agents and workflows using N8N. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.